Hi everybody. So, um, what am I doing today? Um, I'm not necessarily doing nothing. I today, I well, not today. It's today, not today per se, but yeah. So right now, I am trying to get. Well, excuse me. I'm trying to get. Um, trying to get myself. Trying to get myself in a better position in a better place because there's so much chaos and there's so much chaos and there's so much chaos but I'm just trying to handle everything the best way I know how um right now I'm trying to I have to okay I have to go I have to go and I have to like I'm already doing the injections for my MS um but when I took when I had my MRI done it showed advanced it was like like an advanced um I won't say aging but the disease had progressed a lot and the doctor told me that I need to do infusions on top of the injections as they trying to get my they trying to get my trying to get my MS under control Oh, this is a whole lot. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. I'm just trying to not really be sad because um, I'm not trying to. I don't want to be sad. But, oh, excuse me. But um, it's a lot going on. It's, it's a lot that go on with that. Then, so I, uh, my insurance company, the insurance company said, well, you know, here, just take, you know, just take me, take these injections. Initially, they only had the first injections that I took. And um, now, all of a sudden, they have the generic version. The generic version makes me itch a lot. The generic version, like really, 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 makes me itch because it's the generic version. So I had to go back to my neurologist and have my neurologist write me, write uh, the, I mean, go to my insurance, have my neurologist, my neurologist go to the insurance company and um, get the insurance company to give me the real, the real injections versus the versus the, the um, generic version. So like, like I've been on this for maybe about, what, three weeks? Hmm. It makes, they make my skin itch. Like, every day I take, um, I take them, it's supposed to be three days a week. Excuse me. Oh. It's like I take them every other day. Um, I took one today and Oh yeah, my skin is itching now. It really, really, really is, and it's hmm, it's annoying. But I figure, why not? And I know that I have this this debilitating disease, or this this this, this debilitating illness, and it is some. Sometimes it's like it's a lot. Excuse me. Sometimes it's a lot to have to go through. But what else can you do? You know? Um, like, I, like I said previously on other videos, you can't necessarily die from MS. But you can have, um, you can have issues as far as, you know, um, heart troubles. You know, you can have, have a heart attack. And at any time, because I have MS, I'm subject to something like that. And it worries me at times, but what else can I do? MS, of course, has no cure. So what really can I do? Nothing, just try to take the medication and continue to live. It's... I don't know. It's hard to think about 
any bad things that'll happen because you just, in all honesty, you don't want to think about nothing bad because you just don't. I'm sitting here like rubbing, ooh, rubbing my body parts. Ooh, excuse me, rubbing my body parts because I am, like I said before, this makes my skin itch. And I, I took an injection today. I did take an injection today, so it kind of makes just like, ah, it's really just like, just, it's eating at your skin. It makes you itch, and it's, it's annoying. But then again, it's something, that's something that you have to go through because you want to make sure that you are in the best health that you are in, that you can be in. It's, it's a lot at times, but what can you do? Oh, Jesus, excuse me. Oh, this stuff makes my skin itch. It makes my skin itch. So now I'm waiting for them to, um, they already, um, I'm waiting for my insurance company to okay the fact that I'm going to take um, that I'm going to I'm going to take the real injections versus the generic can. It's weird because you know back in the day it was only just the real kind of injections. Now it is generic, and then they have some other stuff. So um, now. With the advanced, um, with the, I won't say aging, but with the advanced stuff that's going on with my brain, I have to, they want me to take injections. I mean, not injections, because I already take those. They want me to do infusions. Hmm. How do I feel about infusions? Um, I, I never wanted to take anything other than the injections because the injections were safe to me. I didn't want to do anything else because I just, honestly, I didn't trust anything else. Especially with, um, especially dealing with, um, well, I don't know nothing about infusions, but, um, Dealing with like I don't I I I, I don't want to take the pills the MS pills because I just like you know I don't just I don't just trust everything that everybody and every doctor say like everything has some things have really horrible side effects I don't want to do that I just want to be simple and safe and my neurologist says that the plan that I'm that I'm going about now. It's the safest for me to use. So I'm trying to just be happy and healthy with myself. So, and then, hmm, so I have, like, I have other issues going on in my life, and some, some days are better than others. Um, I see a counselor, well, a counselor therapist, whatever you want to call her. She is a wonderful person. I see her once a week because she helps me deal with the situations and the issues that are going on in my life. Um, I was recently diagnosed with having PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. I do not, um, I've never been in the army, but I've went through, I've went through times where I've dealt with a lot of horrible situations in my life. And some of that stuff is really hard to get past, really hard to get through. And I am fighting to get past all of that because I just am. Oh, that's this is honestly a fight for me every day because of the situation that it was. It's not the easiest to deal with, and it's not the hardest to get past. So um, I've had a very difficult childhood. I've had a very difficult childhood, but. That's part of me being able to, um, me being able to 
go to therapy and, and try to get a better understanding of my life and what I'm going what what I've went through and what I'm going through now. Um right now I'm in a I'm in a pretty decent place. I just am right now I'm in a decent place and I'm trying to live my best life for me versus a life for everybody else. Cuz I don't feel that I need to go through nothing or no, nothing with nobody. I just don't. I live my life for me. Like, if I think it was like after I turned 40, after I turned 40, it was, it became just, my life just became about me and that's just it. So, that's where I'm at now. Um, and I think, you know, honestly, I think people really couldn't deal with the fact that I just wanted because I was always a people pleaser and always wanted always wanted to please everybody else and have everybody else like what I was doing and understand what I was doing. But now I don't care. I don't give a fuck about shit. Cause what's the point in me caring about how everybody else feel if people don't care about me. People don't care about how I feel. What's the point of me caring about how they feel? No reason. So, okay, there it is. But I don't know. I'm trying to be the best me for me because there is no need for me not to, you know? <sighs> um, I feel better. I'm glad I go. Um, I'm trying to do more videos now so that I can um, just be me and live my life for me um of course i have a have a few bloggers you know have a few um blogs that i write on um one of them is miss matara m s m s m a t a r a dot blogspot dot com that's the one mm. that i write on write about my m s the most that's the one that I write about my MS the most. That's where I write about my MS a lot. Um, I don't do it as much as I need to, but I do it now more so because I feel like written expression is like everything. That's something, like I've been a writer since I was a kid, excuse me. Been a writer since I was a kid, so for me to be able to write and to get things off my mind, is always a good thing for me. Always something that I think that helps me do what I need to do for myself. So, I mean, I may write. I started, oh Jesus, I started off writing. Mm, like, years ago, and then it, it, I mean, you know, I started my blogs and then I progressed and then I slacked off and then I progressed again. But I'm back. I'm trying to be trying to be back and do more so that you know I can write and people can really understand. People can really understand. I know I'm taking my glasses off. People can really understand what I'm talking about and what I'm going through. Um, I I go through a lot, but you know, you can't necessarily let anything to stop you from doing what you need to do for yourself so i'm just trying to do what i need to do for me because i am there is no need for me to not for me not to you know um now i'm just trying to do me trying to do me and trying to do me but whatever the case is i just have to continue and know that everything is going to work out in the best way that it that it is. I felt, you know, I felt some kind of way earlier today, but I'm I'm here, and you know I'm thankful to be here. You know I'm thankful that I'm above ground because I'm just happy to be me. That's it. I learned how to appreciate myself, even dealing with all of the issues that I have and the disabilities that I have. So 
trying to do what I need to do for myself as much as I can because I just do. So I don't know. I just wanted to share that. But if you want, if you want, you can go to my blog. I'm going to see how I can. Like, I'm not really a good YouTuber. I don't really know much about the dynamics of it. But I'm, I'm going to see if I can post a post a, a link to my blog on, like, I, I'm, I got to see. I'm trying to. Yeah, so people can see what I'm, so people can see what I what I write, and can understand a little better. So, but it's 15 minutes. I said I was gonna go, gonna do one for 15 minutes just to be able to write. I mean, just to be able to let y'all know what's going on with me. So, trying to see. Um, now I'm waiting to go. Wait until I gotta go back to the doctor to for them to so I can start my in, my infusions, and then um, so along with all of that going on, all of that that's going on, um, I have to go back to I have to go see an audiologist. So my the MS affects my right side a little more than my left side. Um, my left side, I can hear maybe 50% out of my right ear. In my right ear is like, you can hear, but you can't. It's like like a diminished, diminished um, hearing. It's really weird. It's sometimes, I don't know, and this just started. It started maybe about, hmm, like I started having issues maybe about six months ago. Like first you can hear, but then you can't hear, then you can hear again, then you can't. But what else? I don't know. I gotta go see an audiologist for them to. And it was crazy because I initially, when it happened, I went to the went to the doctor, went to actually to urgent care, and <clears throat> they flushed my ear out, and they said they didn't see anything because I just I just couldn't hear. I couldn't hear on the right side. They flushed my ear, and there was nothing wrong. But dealing with MS, that's an issue. That that's, Sometimes that's an issue that you deal with. Um, I've been dealing with MS for, I've with, and I've said in my other videos, I got diagnosed in June 2010. Um, when I was now, I was, I was about 15, about, ugh, about, probably about, 15, 14, well, I say about 10, I wouldn't even say 10, maybe 11, 12, something like that. When I was, I'm 40 now. When I was 24, they, um, I had optic neuritis and it was like, I could see, I could see, but like, it was like a film over my eyes. And I was like literally blind for, I think it was for a week. And then I went to the doctor. This was at 24. Went to the doctor and the doctor said, you need to see a neurologist. We think that this may be MS. At 24, I wasn't thinking, I'm like, okay, yeah, whatever. Although I'm not sure. I know I've told this story a million times. I've written it a million times, um, but it's just, it's, it's difficult to really think about, but it's just like, okay, well, this is what you got to deal with. So now, like I said, about six months ago, I had a, I couldn't hear out of my right ear. Then it came back maybe probably about two, three weeks after that. And then, like, this has been happening for the last, I say about two, I say about three weeks, three weeks to a month. So now I, they, the doctor, I got a new neurologist, and he sent me, he's sending me to, um, the same doc, the same neurologist that that sent me to have my MRI is is the one that is sending me to the audiologist for me for them to check my hearing because I have MS. There is so much more at stake at times, and they when people they want to see what's really going on with me because now it's um, I'm guessing I don't know I didn't really have a lot of issues. When I was younger, 
not necessarily. I did, but I didn't. Nothing was really noticeable. But at the same time, I was really doing just doing things that I do every day. But now it's more, everything is more noticeable. And I'm just feeling like, okay, what's next? What's next and what's next? But, you know, you just have to just continue to go and continue to do and try to stay in a happy place. I know I do. I don't like being sad. I don't like being sad. I don't like going through nothing, but, you know, it is what it is at times. And what else can you do? But I don't know. I'm trying to live my life one day at a time and stay in a happy place and stay blessed. I just am. But um, dealing with MS is it's a mess at times. You can't not you can't not deal with it. Because it's so it's so at the forefront of everything that you do. Um to deal with to, you know, to deal with all of that, and then you know, like it's your central nervous system, you go through a lot, and you know, when you're young, you really don't notice, you really don't think about it. It is the worst. You know, you can have days when you feel like, like my entire right side is affected by MS. Worse than my left side, my right side, everything on my right side is different than my left side and it's sometimes it's challenging but what what else can you do you just have to continue to live life and do what you need to do for yourself because if you don't who else is going to do it for you you know but i'm getting ready to get off of here i just wanted to share a few things with y'all about me and my health and everything, well, not everything. With some of the stuff that I'm going through. Um, thank you for watching. If you're not, if you're not prescribed, if you're not subscribed, jeez. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Like my videos and comment if possible. Thank you, and I'll and I'll see you later.